In today's video, we're going over what's coming to the game this week, starting with the regular multiplayer playlist changes, like Shoot the Ship on Tuesday, along with the new stuff in the store, and Warzone playlist updates later in the week. Finally, a quick look at a potential new leak for Season 5 at the end of the video. First, if you're like me and hate to watch 10 minute videos and just want straight to the point updates and info, then please support my channel by watching the video until the end and liking and commenting. This lets the YouTube bots know that while this video is shorter, it is still worth promoting alongside those much longer videos. And I have to say the response from you guys on the last few videos has been amazing. Views are way up, likes and comments have doubled or more, and so have the subscribers. So I guess there is plenty of interest in this shorter content and you guys have been doing your bit to promote it. But anyway, let's jump into it. First, one of my personal favorite playlists, Shoot the Ship 24-7 is returning. They should make this a permanent one to be honest. Play a mixture of Shipment or Shoot House in 6v6 matches and you guys don't need me to tell you what that is. It's perfect though for grinding challenges leading up to the end of the season. Next, hop into 3v3 gunfight snipers only to test your marksman skills, talk it up with your teammates and best the arena to find your spot and pick off the enemies. Grand War gets reinfected in the large map version of the popular mode. Fight to survive until the time expires to claim victory. Consider mid-range weapons to pick off foes at distance or deadly close quarter options for anyone who tries to sneak up on you. Finally, later in the week, Warzone will see the stimulus duos. If you have enough cash when you're eliminated, you will automatically redeploy into the match. No need for the gulag in that one. Stimulus redeploys players fast, so expect more frenetic gameplay. Other Warzone playlist updates include Battle Royale solos, trios, duos and quads, and plunder quads. But that means that Warzone Rumble is most likely going to be leaving. We have a couple of new things in the store this week. A new look for Charlie with the Earth Expeditionary Force Bundle. Dress for a tactical exploration of the beyond, don the Outrider skin, and move quickly with the Legendary Colonel Standard LMG. The bundle also contains a watch, weapon charm, calling card, and emblem shown in this image here. Finally, the Racing Series Mac 8 bundle. This racer-inspired bundle features Red Racer Blueprints, the Autoclave SMG, and Winner's Circle handgun, and two vehicle skins to help you keep track of your own ride. Plus, get the Start Your Engine vehicle horn that blares a race countdown sound, plus more, and you gain all the stuff you can see here in this image on screen. So guys, that is everything coming to the game this week. Not tons of things, but then there never really is, unless it's a new season or the mid-season update. Tomorrow we will see a playlist update. There may be a hotfix to go with that. The rest later in the week, and it's been a while since we've had any patch notes as well, so there may be some on Thursday. If there are, I will let you know. There is one final thing to go over, however, a season five is getting closer. In a couple of weeks, we have a leaked trailer from Nick Merckx who showed it on his Twitch. Here is the clip. August 5th, 1046. It seems pretty legit and trains are always being added into Battle Royales, so it's no surprise to see it added in Warzone in Season 5. I'm sure there will be plenty more leaks in the next few weeks as well leading up to Season 5 and for COD 2020 as well. Anyway, if you guys have any questions on the changes this week, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Remember to like and share so YouTube bots can suggest the video to others, and thanks for watching.